You'd better not be here, Betty. I'll never forgive you. Where is it? Be mad. Edward, stop it. <gasps> Thank God. It's not her. It's not Betty. It's it's not her. Oh, Edward. What have you done? I it's not Elizabeth. I, I, I was so afraid. You're a monster. But I had to be sure. If Betty... To hell with your Betty! When did she ever shed a tear for you? Don't talk about my baby sister or like what? that. Or what? Or what, Edward? What will you do? Ignore us? Banish us? You've spent your entire life chasing her. When are you going to do something useful with what's left of it? Uh, quiet! Just... leave me be! Fine. Pussy? Alice? Come back! Don't leave me alone! Please! Come back! I... I need you. Lissy? Where are you? I was afraid you'd left me. Now listen to me. No! Listen to me. I didn't mean what I said. I, I... Of course you meant it. Everything's always about Betty. Betty, 
be. I care about you both. Until it really matters. Then it's obvious who matters more. I thought she was dead. I wish she was! Don't. You deserve to be alone. Please, talk to me. What's there to talk about? You can't keep running away from me. You think you own me? That you control me? That you get to decide how I feel and what I do every minute of every day? That I'm your puppet? Your little plaything? Well, fuck you, Edward Charles Harden! I never should have come here with you on this... Pointless chase! Now, be reasonable. What are you doing? What I should have done years ago. Maybe now you'll learn to appreciate us. Now listen to me. Please, listen. Hear me out. Don't do this. You can't do this to me. I need you. I'm not whole without you. I, I can't lose you. I, I can't live without you. Don't, 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 please, don't, don't, no, 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 no! What? No! All right. Please don't. You make me sick, Edward. Your mother and father would be ashamed. Elizabeth would be ashamed. They did not think you deserved their love, so they abandoned you. <gasps> don't. Oh, my child. We are all that you have, and we love you. We are here. With us, you are never alone. Do not forget. No, I... Never. Never. I never forget. I am never alone. Wake up, Edward. Stop hiding. Uh. You are right in fearing for her. You cannot hide from us. Where is Lissy? Alice is not here. Bring her back. Please. I need her Alice to... does not love Elizabeth like you do. She loves me. Not like I do, Edward. I'm so tired. Please. What do you want? I think of you so often. You have no idea. You just want me to forgive you so that we can keep looking for your precious, perfect Betty. She needs us. <laughs> she never needed you, Teddy Bear. And she certainly doesn't need us. I can't find her on my own. It's just too bad, my darling Edward. Because we're done playing second fiddle to little sis. Wait, don't go. I, I, I'm talking to... To you. Lissy. Oh.
please. Listen. Lissy, you can't keep vanishing on me. Try me. Why are you so angry? You do not know anger, Edward. Did you ever meet my father? Alice does not want to speak with you. And what about you? Are you going to help me? God helps those who help themselves. I don't need God's help. I need Lissy. Do you, though? Did you ever? What? Of course, I... Alice, don't go. Hear me out. I depend on you both. You can never depend on other people, Edward. I'm not sure you count as other people. Everyone leaves one way or another. You don't. You can't. Is that a challenge? Stop playing games. Are you ordering me, teddy bear? I'm asking you. Didn't your father always tell you to stand up for yourself? To be a real man and not a sissy? Maybe that's why he put the gun to his head and pulled the trigger. Kaboom! He was so disappointed about what his only son had turned into. You're a monster. Takes one to know one, old fruit. I gave you this jacket. Betty! You were here. Lissy, I'm tired of chasing you. Alice, be reasonable. I'm trying to talk to you. Lissy, look. Her jacket. I'm sure it wasn't here yesterday, Jesus which means Christ, Betty was Teddy. here. Perhaps when we were out yesterday. Betty, she must Be have... Betty, 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 Betty. You love Betty more than you love us. But don't you see? What has Betty done that we haven't? What can she do that we cannot? We've always been there for you. Why do you keep looking for her? She's real. You're not. So? What? You decide what is real. We are real to you. We'll never be the same. She does not want you. Who are you talking Why about? Why do you think Betty left? She was sick and tired of us. She wanted to escape. Like mother. Drowning herself because she couldn't stand being around us. Like father. Bang! Right in the coconut. Stop. You drive them all away, Edward. All into death. Please. Not us. We're always here for you. I beg you. You are never alone. Stop! Leave me alone, both of you! You want to be alone? You really want to be alone? Fine. For good. Lissy, come back, please.
Betty? Elizabeth? Is that you? Are you upstairs? Are you in there? Open the door! I'm coming in! Stand away from the door! This was a gift from another unlucky suitor. It was precious to you. You wouldn't have left it here unless... A signpost. A breadcrumb. But what's so important about the Fretlands? I will figure this out. I will find you, I promise. I know you were here. It's from Johan, addressed to his wife. Did you notice the handwriting, Betty? It was clearly distraught. Knock, er, knock. Enough is enough. After decades of strife, I pray that God will... Tilly, forgive me. I am tired of secrets. For 20 years, I have kept my silence about our discovery my silence has only led to misfortune, and my cowardice has only led to death. I will make Frederick pay for what he has done to us, for what they have done to our Ruth. When it is over, I will let the ocean take me to you and Ruth. May God forgive me. And I was already dead when he wrote this. He had no one else to confess to. 
What now, Betty? Johann went to confront his brother, probably at Frederick's farm. And then... You followed Johann to Frederick Fretland's farm, and then to the mine. You wouldn't let this go, Betty. You'd follow your story to the end. All the way to the end. So where is Frederick's farm? you to this place. All these fragments. You'd piece them together into a story, wouldn't you, Betty? So, what do we know? Johan and Frederick are partners, and on good terms. Something happens in the mine. Disagreements lead to a falling out. And at the end of it all, 20 years later, Johann walks this path to confront Frederick. Was this your doing, Johann? Did you burn your brother's farm to the ground? And where were you, Betty? Did you witness their fall? Ready?
Simon's grave. Born December 5th, 1909, died September 17th, 1923. The safe. Frederick would choose numbers that meant something to him. Why bury Simon here, and not at the cemetery? His wife's grave is also here. Perhaps Frederick wanted nothing to do with the church, or with their god. I could really use your imagination, Betty. You'd figure this out in no time. Let's try Simon's birthday. Another Viking artifact, Betty. Most likely from the same treasure Ruth found. Postmarked in Boston. That's a Curious coincidence. Dear Frederick, I hope this letter... It's in English, Betty. Hope this letter finds you and the boy in good health. We're concerned about you both. Uh, no word from you for almost two years now. Hmm. All of us still heartbroken about Margaret's passing. We know things have been difficult for you and Simon. Mr. Fretland, we expect you to take care of this problem. If the discovery is made public, the authorities will intervene and the mine will be shut down. Should this happen, we will consider it a breach of our contract and we will withdraw our investment. You and your brother will be responsible for all debts and losses. Johann must be convinced to wall up the chamber. We've already dealt with the worker who made the discovery. The Fretland Mining Company. This must be for that locked shed. You went to the mine. I hope our guardian angel watched over you. All right, Betty. So what happens next in your story? Johann and Frederick discover something in the mine. A cave or chamber of archaeological value. They argue about what to do. If the discovery is made public, it's the end of their enterprise. Johann is convinced or paid to walk away. Their secret stays hidden. Then, a few months later, the accident. Three men die. The investors pull out, the mine shuts down, Frederick's up to his neck in debt. Tintakimali.